a few times if you watched our story right there. It's, um, it's a sad story. I mean, it, it need not be. And joining us, I think, for coming in, engineer Joseph um, Jaroge. He's the principal secretary, energy. He also was MD for Kenya Power for more than eight years. So he knows what he's talking about. He was there from the beginning. Yeah. Engineer, first question, real quick. Somebody dropped the ball. Let's face it, somebody dropped the ball. Yes, somebody did. That happened. And uh, we've picked it up, and uh, we look forward to getting the line on track. When you say getting the line on track, uh, what is the deadline? When can Kenyans expect this power to actually enter their homes? We're talking of 310 megawatts, just sitting on that wind farm. So mm. when do we have a deadline for that? We expect to get the line completed by end of this month. Uh, sorry, next month. Okay. Five weeks in time. From now? Yes. If and not? There's a and one there billion is, shilling a month for, uh, there obligation is, uh, payment. There is no option of if not. There is so much concentration of supervision. Last week, the minister was on the line. This week, I'll be on the line. Just to make sure that if there is any intervention required, yeah. we get it done. And done instantly so that there are no delays. Uh, engineer, how, long, how far would you say the line is? Is it 75%? Is it 80%? How far away from reaching its point from Suswa to Sarima? Most of the work that is very bulky, the civil works, mm -hmm. so that you do the foundations for the towers, that's completed. The election works, 80% is already done. The stringing works, about 30% is already done. So the work which would be on the critical path of completion of the project from management project management perspective is really completed. The, the work that is left with the supervision that we are giving it and with the seriousness that uh, we have all extended to that uh, serious project, we expect that it should be completed. You went on site, mm -hmm. Jeff. Yeah. You saw the terrain. How many counties? Five counties. Masabit, right. Saburu, yeah. Nyadarwa, Laikipia, Laikipia Nakuru. and finally Nakuru. It is a huge project. And a project of that nature is not completed until the interconnectivity is completed. Yes, yeah. the turbines may have been completed, yeah. but until the transmission line is also in place so that we can be able to evacuate the power and said it to the demand, then we have not yet completed that project. And as I said, several challenges. You saw the terrain, the expectations of the communities along the way. There were quite some delays initially because of what we call the light of way. And finally, what really broke the camels back is the Spanish contractor, Isolax, mm. who was not able to complete the project and I would attribute that to some challenges uh, of the economic meltdown, which you remember. Several countries in Europe went through that. Spain, Greece, Turkey. And it is not only here that the contractor, the Spanish contractors have had the termination done on their project. We've had some challenges in Uganda. We've done, uh, we have had some challenges in Tanzania. We've had some challenges in Burundi because we have got a model of integration of all these countries yeah, and yeah. we monitor all the projects that have to do with the integration mm, okay. and we do know that that problem persisted there and s most of those contractors had had to be terminated engineer yeah. people this is want not to know, a unique yeah. project sure people want to know right now that billion shilling payment obligation who's going to pay is it kenya government who pays i think for the time being when the last contractor was put on board the chinese contractor the chinese contractor there was a very clear contractual obligation that if he doesn't complete the project, he will be paying that penalty. So in the meantime, there is that relief. We are, however, not expecting not to complete the project because there are many benefits of this project in terms of displacing the use of thermal power. There, are, there is also the fact that this is more cost effective power than the thermal power and and therefore we really want the project to be completed and that's why we have all injected 
our seriousness, our brains, and all our focus. And on engineer, that the, the question here is also because the way it looks, it looks pretty bad. You have uh, a wind farm that's been sitting idle for 15 months. Uh, what are the investors saying in terms of the money they've put into it, 70 billion shillings, uh, and nothing coming out of it for more than a year? What are they saying now? We have worked together with these investors. They are privy to the challenges that met with this project. They are privy to each and every process that we have undertaken to salvage the situation. And my due initiary is actually the same investors who, who were able to get this loan in place. It's a tide aid and we were able to get a contractor from yeah. Spain to do the work. But what do you think so this means for Kenya's reputation when it comes to big energy projects generally? Will investors shy away because of what we've seen, especially with this Lake Turkana? The investors project? will not shy away. By the way, in most of the projects, it's actually the investors who still do the interconnectivity. And this is just a unique challenge. Mm. The fact that there has been that unique challenge, the most important bit about the project is how have we dealt with that challenge. Mm. The government itself has put in a lot of effort, a lot of initiative. We have worked with the Spanish government. We have had cabinet secretaries travel to Spain to deal with this problem. So that is what really matters yeah. about the investor, the seriousness of the government. Because there is no challenges of projects are always there. It is not the first project to meet that challenge. Right. There are usually challenges with each and every project, different types of challenges. It just happens that this challenge was a very serious challenge of a contractor getting insolvent, and therefore we had actually to terminate the contractor and get another contractor a process. Yeah. Yeah. That of Bottom line, engineer, do you think someone idea. should lose their job? Should head, heads roll in this case? Do, do you think so? I don't think that uh, that's not where we are. We are not operating in the space of heads lolling. We are operating in the space of getting the project completed and making sure that Kenyans start benefiting from that power. Mm. But money if we focus on heads rolling, I think we'll lose the most important way of resolving that problem yeah. by getting the project completed. Can we look at the cost implications of this project? 15 months uh, of those wind turbines laying idle. How much has the government have to, had to pay uh, to ensure that at least it's still being maintained? We worked together with the contractors, as I said, with the investors, and made sure that we, the government doesn't have to go through those payments. We drained the payments because it was understood some of the challenges are challenges which were not of anybody's making. Mm. Yes. Engineer, can you assure Kenyans tonight who are watching you, millions of Kenyans watching you tonight, that come September 1 or come the end of the year, plus minus, our electricity bills will go down? Because I'm, I'm sick and tired of getting a bill for 70,000 shillings. Monica, do we have that bill up? Do we have it? My bill, my latest bill, engineer, 72,000. Well, I mean, I'm, am I running a factory at home? No. Uh, Jeff, let's not mix issues. No. We are dealing with the electro Kana weed project. But we want lower cost on our electricity bills. The cost? Uh, the regulator is just about to announce some lip leaf on the power bills, I think from uh, next week. That is from tomorrow. The issue of this power plant getting completed is different from the power bills, but it will help to bring down the bills. So what reprieve can uh, consumers expect, like you're saying, in a week's time? What can they expect in terms of maybe a figure? I, I, I don't want to, uh, to preempt what the regulator is going to announce. And I know the regulator has been doing public participation. I, why don't we wait for the regulator to make the announcement? Mm. But more importantly, as I said, let's get this project completed. We are all in it, Jeff. And you guarantee us? And we'll us get it completed. Uh, and you guarantee us end of August? We'll get it completed. Yes, we will get it completed. And I'm sure, Jeff, you'll be back there to ensure that it's up and You know I will. August. Engineer, we'll go yeah, together. We'll go together. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? We'll go together and we'll get it completed. Great. For sure. Okay. okay. Yes. Engineer Joseph Jaroge, thanks so much for your Thank time. Thank you for your time. And good luck with this project. It's, it's very you. important for Kenya. Thank you too. And we look forward 
to making a trip together and seeing the good news. This is a good project and I think it is a project that will make a significant contribution to our energy mix and also reduce the cost of electricity by displacing the more expensive thermal power and getting to use uh, what we call renewable energy. Mm -hmm. It's a very good project even for uh, the Masabit as a county and even for where this uh, line is passing through, it creates an opportunity for other power projects to be connected into that line. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much thank for your time. And, you. and of course, Kenyans will be happy when homes are lit and pockets are full. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can't wait for that day. Right.